With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Sum of two vector P and Q is R vector such that magnitude of R vector is equal to magnitude of the P vector. The angle that the resultant of 2P vector and Q vector make with Q vector. Very simple. Now if you see, let us take uh, P vector and Q vector. So let's suppose this is the P vector, a Q vector and this is the P vector. So this will be the resultant R vector. Right? And uh, the magnitude of the P vector and uh, R vector are same. Right? And now if I add Q vector and 2P vector, right? So this is the 2P vector. Then, then let's suppose the resultant is this R dash. And we have to find out this angle alpha. An angle between P and Q let's suppose is theta and theta. Very simple. Now uh, it is given that the magnitude of R and P is same. So I will write the magnitude of R is equals to under root of P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta. Right. So if I will square both sides, so I will get R square is equals to P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta. Right. So it is given that the magnitude of R is same as P. So I will write P square is equals to P square plus Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta. Right. So this P square will get cancelled out and you will get Q square plus 2 PQ cos theta is equals to 0. Now if I take this Q common then I will get Q plus 2 P cos theta is equals to 0. So here Q is not non-zero quantity. So I will write Q plus 2 PQ cos theta is equals to 0. Now let's see this diagram. In this diagram you can see the P and Q are again ha having angle theta between them and we want this alpha. So from the vector formula if I write the angle between the P vector and the resultant then I will write here 2P sin theta where theta is the angle between the two in division p plus 2p cos theta this was this was the formula between the resultant and q vector right and if you see we already uh, derived the uh, value of q plus 2p cos theta is equal to zero so if you will put this zero here and uh, is equals to tan alpha right so you can see here the tan alpha is approaching to infinity right so tan alpha approaching to infinity it means that the theta the angle between the q vector and the resultant of p vector and q vector is 90 degree very simple so this will be our answer thank you for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.